Well, hey there. Welcome to another of my special episodes on seven-figure product launches. And in, in today's episode, right, I want to address the topic, and this is another principle, and this is who can have a seven-figure product launch, right? Because, like, I know that I can inspire people and tell people they're going to do great in product launches, but obviously at the end of the day, it's not going to be everybody that's going to be able to really take the ball and run with it and make a big go at it. So there's some people that can um, have a seven-figure product launches, but today we want to talk about who can have a seven-figure product launch. And that might be, just happen to be you. Like, you know, like, take this as, as a possibility. Open up your possibilities, keep an open mind, and understand that you can have a really big product launch. Um, so there are some common characteristics, okay, of people that are really going to be able to take this and, and, and run with it and, and really go far and have a seven-figure product launch, a seven-figure product launch. And the first principle of who can have a seven-figure product launch is die-hard committed people. So that's the first characteristic, guys. Like, you, you really need to think about yourself, think about where are you in your thinking about seven-figure product launches? Are you die-hard committed? Um, seven-figure product launch, this is not junk, right? This is not a small um, milestone. This is a big thing, something that could take you a year, could take you um, in my seven-figure product launches consulting process. You know, I specify that it might take you between seven months to 15 months to get to a seven-figure product launch if you're doing everything right. But on the low end, seven months, that's still not uh, a time that can be joked around with. That's a long time. Sticking with anything for seven months straight, that's a big chunk of your life, a big chunk of your year. That's more than half of your year um, just to try and have a seven-figure product launch. So... Not everybody can stick with that. And, and so the first element, guys, is you got to be die-hard committed. Like if I look at somebody that's trying to launch a product and I'm asking myself, is that going to be able to get to a certain figure product launch? That's the first thing to look at. Are they die-hard committed? If they're not, um, you know, and if they are, the possibilities are there, right? Like you, that's where you work from. Die hard committed. Are they die hard committed? Die hard committed to the product. Die hard committed to the product launch. Die hard committed to, to the whole process. Okay, now let's move on to the second characteristic of people that can have seven-figure product launches. And there's one word. It's tenacious. Tenacious. And you know, some, something that's tenacious, if it's a dog, you know, like if it bites into something like, it's like those bulldogs that bite into something and then you can't get them off. It's like, you know, it, once they bite into something, they take a bite or something, it's like they own it. Now they're never gonna let go. And there are some small little dogs, by the way, that do that as well. It's not just bulldogs. There are some small, there are some small breeds of dogs Small dogs that are just as tenacious, they take a bite into something and, and there's no getting them off, right? And uh, but that, that that's kind of like the mindset of somebody that's really gonna be able to get a seven figure product launch. But what they are tenacious about is in this case, they are gotta be tenacious about the dollar ROI, dollar return on investment on their product launch and, and their investment into it. Like, you can be tenacious about certain things like product quality, um, customer support, these are good things. Uh, team, all this kind of thing. It's good to be tenacious about that as well. But for just the, the financial milestone of having a seven-figure product launch, they gotta be tenacious about dollar ROI. That means they're gonna optimize their ad campaigns. They're going to optimize, like, what is the return on investment we're getting? They're going to optimize the product offer in order to get maximum dollar ROI on investment. They're going to optimize uh, conversion rates. 
in order to maximize like like that thinking in their minds like what's the dollar roi so you gotta be tenacious about dollar roi um on um on on your on your um, product launch like that's they gotta be tenacious about that now let's move on to uh requirement uh, number three of people that can have a seven figure product launch and this is uh they need to be um all in on investing money into their product launch and not afraid to invest money into their product launch like it takes a lot of money to make a seven figure product launch work guys like you you're gonna be required to spend money on your advertising you're gonna be required to spend money on your funnel software on your e-commerce store if you're doing shopify on your paid advertising on getting traffic in if you're doing sales uh potentially on you know um buying shout outs from influencers whatever your strategy is gonna be uh to bring traffic into your funnel into your launch into your product launch it's gonna ask you to make dollar investments and so you, you gotta be not afraid to um invest money into your product launch otherwise you're never gonna get to uh, a seven figure product launch you can have maybe a 30k product launch it's still good but not that's not a seven figure product launch so the people that can get to a seven figure product launch characteristic requirement number three is they are not afraid to invest money into their product launch uh now let's move on to characteristic number four and this is the fourth requirement of people that can have a seven figure product launch and this is they are not afraid to invest time into their product launch because i'm telling you guys even if you got money you can throw money all around your product launch but if you are unable to invest time into the product launch it likely won't happen you might even have some team members or you might even hire some consultants to come in and do it all for you but if you're not able to actually invest the personal time yourself as the entrepreneur to go in look at your analytics you got to study your analytics like the way like your your 10th grade exams back in school where you got to really sit down you know you can't just wing this you really got to go in look at these things and really get to 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 know them develop a personal relationship with your analytics like really get to know like so you understand at a granular level what's really happening in your product launch and what's really happening in your business because if you don't have this forget it forget a seven figure product launch you can have a 30k a 50k product launch but you're gonna lose money somewhere in your process and so you're never gonna be optimized enough to to climb up to a seven figure product launch if you don't have the time to invest into your product launch you're most likely never gonna get to a seven figure product launch it takes a lot of time you might have money to invest you might have people helping you you might have consultants you might have coaching you might have all that but you actually gotta sit down in front of the computer and go into your analytics you gotta go in look at your product you gotta be able to go in and look at what is selling out there in the market you gotta look at what kind of ad creatives are our competitors running for their sales so they're getting customers through that or what are our competitors running to advertise their apps and get um, user signups and you gotta be in there and ready to compete it's almost like you're going into a sports league and everybody knows you don't win an nba championship by just sitting at home being comfortable in the chair whilst everybody is out are busting themselves out on the sports field it's gonna take a lot of your personal time you gotta pour a lot of your time you might have to miss some things you're gonna miss some social events you're gonna miss some dinners you're gonna miss some um, you know special uh, functions you should um parties and things like that that uh, you should be able to uh, enjoy but uh, you, you 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 know you, you might not be able to uh, do all that because you gotta be sitting and uh, looking at your product and how it's performing and uh, trying to push it and trying to optimize you're gonna be meeting with the people that are working with you uh, on your product launch 
and uh, you're gonna be coming up with ad creatives you're gonna be coming up with email angles social media campaigns all the work that goes into making a seven figure product launch happen so those are the four requirements of um, the people that can have a seven figure product launch uh, now you can also pick up the solopreneur profits bootcamp for free uh, and learn how to attract more buyers of your product the link will be in the description